Okay, assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So today we are going into the second subtopic of chapter 2 uh, which is on to atomic and molecular masses. So let's have a look at the learning outcome for this uh, particular subtopic. So in by the end of this uh, lesson, you should be able to define relative atomic mass and also relative molecular mass uh, based on the carbon 12 scale. Okay, so let's have a look at the relative atomic mass first. So relative relative atomic mass. So Mr. Sa kamu boleh faham mass tu apa? Okay, mass tu jisim. Okay, atomic pula uh, it is for atom. Okay, so we want to have a look at a mass of an atom. And then what about the word relative? Relative means in a relation to. Uh, so we are in order for us to know the mass of an atom we are comparing the mass of that atom with something okay so let's have a look at apa sebenarnya kita compare mass of sesuatu atom tu dengan apa sebenarnya so the definition of relative atomic mass is uh, relative atomic mass of an atom is the average mass of one atom okay so jangan lupa perkataan average mass of one atom so kena ada perkataan one atom so kita guna simbol ar ni okay untuk menunjukkan relative atomic mass of an element when compared to one twelfth of the mass of one atom of carbon 12 so we are comparing a mass of an atom to carbon 12 punya uh, to one carbon atom one carbon 12 atom uh, okay so one carbon 12 atom ni berat dia adalah 12 okay so let's just tulis kat tepi ni so one uh, carbon 12 atom okay so mass dia adalah the mass is kita katakan sebagai 12 amu AMU stands for Atomic Mass Unit lah. Okay, satu carbon 12 atom, berat dia adalah 12 AMU. So, kita akan compare dengan mass nanti. Okay, jadi in terms of dia punya formula, so this is the formula lah. So, mass of one atom of an element, okay, depends element apa yang dia bagi kat kamu. Uh, dia, it might give you a specific element. It might also just use an unknown punya huruf X, Y, Z macam tu, okay? To the 1 12 of mass of one atom of carbon 12, which is also in AMU punya unit. Jadi, apalah jadi dengan unit untuk kita punya relative atomic mass ni? So, kalau atas ni AMU, bawah ni AMU, so we can cancel off later on. Therefore, untuk kita punya AR ni, ataupun relative atomic unit, okay, so dia tak ada unit. Okay, so there's no unit untuk kita punya relative atomic mass. So as long as kamu tengok ada perkataan relative, relative bermaksud tak ada unit dekat situ. Okay, so kita tengok example. Okay, so determine the relative atomic mass of an element Y if the mass ratio of the atomic Y to carbon 12 atom is 0 0.45. Okay, so we want to determine Okay, apa yang kita nak determine, so kita try to keluarkan apa soalan nak. Ah. So, we want to try to determine the relative atomic mass of element Y. Okay, so kita nak cari AR of Y. So, ini yang kita nak cari. And then, dia bagi tahu info yang dia bagi kepada kamu adalah mass ratio of atomic Y to the carbon 12 atom is 0 0.45. Okay, so macam mana kita nak uh, selesaikan ini? Okay, jadi... Info yang dia bagi adalah ratio, mass ratio, okay, mass ratio of Y. So, mass of Y ni, okay, bila kita comparekan dengan mass of carbon 12 adalah bersamaan dengan 0.45. Okay, so ini adalah info yang dia bagi kat kamu tadi. Jadi, kita dah tahu mass of carbon 12 atom, one carbon 12 atom adalah 12, kan? So, kita boleh tahulah. So, mass of Y dekat sini bermaksud dia adalah bersamaan dengan 0.45 darab dengan mass of carbon 12. Berapa tadi mass of carbon 12? Which is 12. So, 0.45 darab dengan 12 AMU. So, you will get 
Ah, menalah kalkulator. Okay. So, 0.45 darab 12 sama dengan 5.4 AMU. Okay. So, is this the final answer yet? No. Okay. This is not relative atomic mass. This is just the mass of... Okay. So, this is just the mass of Y. Belum lagi kita cari... AR tu tadi. Jadi in order untuk cari AR pula kita kena guna pakai formula dia then. Okay so formula untuk AR of Y kan. So formula dia tadi adalah mass of Y. Okay and then divide by oh, sorry lah. <laughs> Mesti tak ada pun baris lah. Huh? Okay divide by 1 over 12 of mass uh, carbon 12 sepatutnya mis guna darab kat sini. Uh, mass of carbon 12 therefore mass of Y ni kita dah jumpa dah which is 5.4 AMU ok divide by 1 over 12 darab dengan mass of carbon 12 which is 12 AMU therefore ini kamu akan dapat so you will get 5.4 Okay, so mungkin ada yang rasa macam apa beza dengan jawapan yang sebelum tadi. Yang tadi ada unit. Yang sekarang kita nak tunjuk, kita cancel offkan the unit. Okay, so please jangan abaikan this particular part. This is the most important part actually. You want to show that how you calculate the relative atomic mass of Y. Okay, so ini pula adalah mass of Y sahaja sebenarnya. So yang part yang sebelah kanan ni, ini yang penting. Okay, so that's it untuk kita punya relative atomic mass. And let's have a look at relative molecular mass. So again, kita guna perkataan relative dekat sini because kita akan comparekan dengan something and macam biasa kita akan compare dengan mass of one atom of carbon 12. Okay, and molecular mass. Sekarang ni kita pakai molecular. Molecular meaning kita nak kira mass of a molecule. Okay, bukan yang pasal atom dah. So in this case, kita akan guna uh, simbol MR lah. Okay, jadi kita kena ingat baliklah molecule tu apa benda. So, a molecule, it contains two or more atoms that are bonded together. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, definition of relative molecular mass then. So, relative molecular mass is the average mass of molecule. So, dia sama je macam atomic mass tadi. Okay, it's just that tadi kita guna perkataan atom. So, now kita guna perkataan molecule when compared to 1 over 12 of the mass of one atom of carbon 12. And again, we are comparing the mass of a molecule ni kepada uh, 1 twelfth of the mass of uh, one atom of carbon 12. Which, berapa berat tadi kalau one atom of carbon 12? Berat dia adalah 12 amu. Okay, so this is the formula lah. Okay, so we have mass of one molecule. Uh, and then we compare it with 1 over 12 of the mass of one atom of carbon 12. Okay. So, kamu kena take note juga kelas. Yang ni sangat senang lah sebenarnya. Macam mana kita nak kira molecular mass ni agak senang. So, the relative molecular mass of a compound is the summation of the relative atomic mass of all atoms in the molecule. Okay, so ada dua cara sebenarnya untuk kita kira relative molecular mass. One is by using this formula here. Okay, uh, but there's another way whereby kita tak perlu pun guna ni, kita akan guna je konsep yang the summation of relative atomic mass ni. Okay, so how exactly it works? Let's have a look at example. So example 1 dahulu. So calculate the relative molecular mass of C5H5N given that atomic mass, relative atomic mass of carbon is 12, relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, and relative... Uh, relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. So tadi kan dia kata kalau kita nak kira relative molecular mass of a, a molecule, kita boleh kira je the summation. Okay. Jadi very simple. So MR of C5H5N please class tolong tulis dekat bahagian depan ni jangan abaikan the part yang bahagian depan ni jangan pergi tulis sama dengan je okey student student Y selalunya memang akan ada perangai yang dia orang abaikan benda dekat depan ni please kalau kamu tak bagi tahu apa benda dekat depan ni mesti tak tahu kamu kira apa okey so please bagi tahu apa benda yang kamu kira tu sebenarnya Okay, and then baru letak sama dengan. So, sama dengan AR of 
Sebab dalam kita punya molekul ni tadi, kita ada karbon kan? Okay, kita ada karbon. So, karbon kita ada berapa banyak? Kita ada lima. Okay, therefore, yang ni kena darab dengan lima. Okay, dan kita tambahkan dengan uh, hydrogen punya atomic mass which ada lima juga. So, AR of hydrogen and then we have nitrogen. So, nitrogen there's only one. Okay, therefore, we just need to uh, tambah dengan atomic mass of nitrogen. Okay, so kamu akan dapat Uh, kamu boleh je terus simplify sebenarnya 5 karbon tambah 5 hidrogen tambah 1 nitrogen which is equals to 5 tadi karbon dia punya mass adalah 12 okay and then hidrogen adalah 1.0 kan so mesti letak 1 je and then nitrogen kita ada 14 therefore berapa yang kamu akan dapat untuk ini so we got 79 Okay, so ada unit ke tidak? No class, tak ada unit. Ah, This is relative molecular mass. In this case, tak ada unit. Ah, Sebab ada perkataan relative dekat situ. Okay, so the answer for this is 79. Let's have a look at example 2. So example 2 pula, you are asked to calculate the relative molecular mass of calcium phosphate. Okay, so concept dia sama juga class. So given to you that the relative uh, relative atomic mass of calcium, phosphorus and also oxygen macam ni. Okay, therefore the solution for this is so MR of calcium phosphate bersamaan dengan so kita ada 3 calcium okay Tambah dengan, okay, be careful. Dekat sini, kita ada penggunaan bracket. Okay, so kita ada penggunaan bracket. So, basically, dia adalah dua darab dengan phosphorus ada satu. And then, kita tambah dengan empat oksigen. Macam ni. Okay, therefore, kalsium tadi. Apa kalsium punya tadi? Ya? Kalsium punya tadi, sekejap. Mesti tengok balik di belakang. 40.1. Okay, so ini darab dengan 40.1 tambah dengan uh, and then kalau kamu nak asingkan jadikan dia 2 P plus 8 oksigen pun boleh juga. Okay, so phosphorus tadi adalah 31 and then tambah dengan 4 oksigen. Okay, so jadi macam ni. Okay, and then uh, please class, kalsium ni tadi dia punya atomic mass adalah 40.1 kan? So, guna 40.1 please. Okay. Jangan bundakan. Jangan sesekali kamu bundakan. Guna 40.1 dekat sini. And then give your answer to one decimal point. Okay. So, in this case, you will get... You will get... three. Okay. So, this will be your final answer. Okay. And then... Kita tengok pula untuk example 3. Okay, last example Miss nak bagi kat sini. So, you are given a hydrated compound here. Kenapa Miss panggil ni hydrated compound? Because we have water molecule kat bahagian belakang ni. Okay, so konsep dia macam ni. Ini dipanggil sebagai hydrated compound lah. So, how exactly kita nak figure out untuk kira the relative molecular mass kat sini. So, again, given to you that relative atomic mass dekat sini. Untuk copper, 63.6. Sulfur, 32.1. And then hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 16. Okay, jadi dekat sini kena be careful dengan the dot part. So, the dot part, ramai student confused. So, the dot part actually bukannya macam dot product yang waktu sekolah dulu kamu pergi darab kan? No. Okay, dot kat situ tak ada masuk apa-apa pun. It's just that this is how uh, kita tulis hydrated compound punya formula. Dia akan guna dot dekat sini. Okay. So dot kat situ tak membawa maksud darab. It's just uh, nak as nak macam asingkan sikit the water dengan the compound itself. Okay. So kita just perlu tambah je nanti. So now kita nak tengok macam mana nak kira ni. So the relative molecular mass of copper sulfate, the hydrated copper sulfate adalah bersamaan dengan, so of course kita ada copper, kita ada sulfur, kita ada empat oksigen, okay, and then 
ha, okay. So be careful kat sini So tujuh ni kena darab dengan Yang water punya relative molecular mass okay. So kita akan ada tujuh Darab dengan uh, 2H tambah Satu oksigen okay. Therefore copper tadi 63.6 kan Sulfur pula 32.1 And then tambah dengan 4 uh, oksigen So 4 darab 16 Tambah dengan 7 So 2 hidrogen Sebab hidrogen 1 je Ok and then 16 kat sini So kamu kira lah Ok be careful lah Make sure you Key in the correct value inside And then make sure you use the bracket If necessary Ok Or else nanti you will get the incorrect answer for this one so, if I add up all, I'll get 285.7. Okay, so we're done. Hmm. So, ni semua example yang ada. So, now it's your turn untuk uh, kira pula. So, ada try this. 3.0 kat sini so you need to calculate the relative molecular mass of all the compounds given to you the first one is magnesium hydroxide and then you have a uh, glucose and you also have propanol okay and then you have hydrated sodium sulfate and also you have calcium nitrate so for this one class macam mana kita nak macam mana kamu nak rujuk the relative atomic mass for each atom kan okay so what you have to do is you need to refer the ram table so where can you get the ram table so it is actually in your gc already so if you go to your gc okay pergi dekat bahagian extra tutorial so cari tab yang untuk extra tutorial so the very first one kamu akan ada table of ram tu okay and also list of constant so yang ni yang miss minta kamu print out sebenarnya supaya senang kamu rujuk waktu miss introduce kamu dengan uh, kursus kimia ni kan so miss minta kamu print out ni sebenarnya senang kamu nak rujuk nanti so be careful class dekat ram table ni kamu ada element followed by symbol of the element and ada proton number and also relative atomic mass so careless mistake yang student selalu buat adalah instead of dia ambil relative atomic mass dia pergi ambil proton number so be careful ok hmm, kucing kan kucing hmm, dia lapar mungkin ok ada selingan pula oleh kucing tu ok so be careful class be careful uh, choose the relative atomic mass bukannya Hot number Okay So be careful on that So kamu boleh print out ni nanti There's also the list of selected constant value In this particular file as well Okay so let's have a look Again at the uh, Try this Okay so any settle Try this 3.0 You can do it on your own uh, And then try this 4.0 So I'm going to give you Clue sikit yang ni Okay So one molecule of X Is double as heavy As one atom of the carbon 12 Calculate the relative molecular mass of X Okay So dekat sini Kamu kena guna formula Relative molecular mass Yang tadi yang mass of one molecule Divide by one over 12 Mass of uh, one carbon atom Okay So kamu kena guna yang tu But before Kamu nak guna formula tu You first need to look for the mass of one molecule So hint dia dekat sini adalah Dekat sini kelas Dia bagi tahu one molecule of X ni Okay One molecule of X Dia punya mass Double as heavy as One atom of carbon 12 Okay So Mass of one molecule of X okay, is equals to double. Double bermaksud dua kali ganda. Dua kali ganda apa? Dua kali ganda mass of carbon 12 atom. Aha, so, Miss dah bagi hint kat sini. So, daripada sini, you can figure out the mass of one molecule of X okay so we get a value here jangan lupa ada unit because mass of one carbon 12 atom ni dia ada unit dia and then baru kamu letak uh, mass of uh, one molecule of X ni masukkan dalam formula relative molecular mass okay and then you will get the answer later on okay and last but not least 
quote of the day okay so be kind people be kind to unkind people because they need it the most and also you have to be kind because you might be standing next to a person who is trying their best to not fall apart okay so whatever you do do it with kindness in your heart okay so yes be kind all right that's all bye, -bye.